Have you ever thought to yourself, what if Duolingo and Anki had a kid? Well, it turns out there is one. It's called Mochi Mochi. What a nice name, right? Definitely reminds me of someone. But we won't really talk about her here. In this video, I'll tell you the biggest fraud in Japanese learning game. The Mochi Mochi app. The main concept of this app is that it's shiny, cute, Mochi Mochi, kawaii, is to follow. Plus, there's an nice rice on top. But let me tell you a secret. After spending hundreds of hours in this app, you'll still know shit. Mate, how is this possible? After spending so much time on solely grinding kanji in this app, I'll still not be able to read kanji out of context. That's right. The sole purpose of this app is to milk your money away. I wish I was kidding. Just for your information, Mochi Sensei has a total of 5 videos explaining how to study kanji, and in 4 of them, she involved Mochi Mochi app. Plus, Haruti Ahama with 1.3 million subscribers actually talked about this app, so let's find out. Introducing the elephant in the room, the Mochi Mochi app. So we can learn, we can learn Japanese, we can learn English. So here they're explaining the golden time system. The golden time is basically the ideal time for you to review your course. There are 5 levels of memorization, nothing too shoddy. Basically, there's 30 free trial lessons, and then you have to pay $30 for one year or $70 for three years. I'm just wondering, why would you still pay for the app if you already know 12,000 words? Let's just get going. Learn Japanese, right? Learn new words. So this is the course list. It consists of 11 decks. So the most peculiar part of it is that it has IT vocab, nursing industry vocab, service industry vocab, and that's pretty much... It plus the basic conversation, basic kanji, right? And then we have and then we have JLPT and five two and two kanji plus vocab, and then we have Milo Nihongo and five and four, right? So so let's just do basic kanji. Here are one hundred thirty one lessons, right? In each lesson, there's from two to uh, to five kanjis that you can remember. Let's so start from the start. Alright. So we have the audio. We have slow and fast, right? So this is where it gets confusing. This word consists of two kanjis, right? This is pretty interesting. Because I just started. I just started learning this. It's basic kanji, right? I have no idea what this kanji even means. What the kanji even reads. What the heck is going on, right? So each kanji represents each meaning. Right? And now it strikes us with two kanjis. The uh, only thing we know is that how it looks, how it sounds, and what it means. We don't have the basic knowledge, the fundamental knowledge that we need to have to read it. Then it has choose the correct answer. It presents us with uh, the word that we should apparently translate. Right? So Nihon. Or we have another option. It is Nishiyobi. Here we can see that here this symbol uh, reads as we don't even know how it reads as, but here we can see that the hiragana on top it says Nishi, and um, here we don't really see much because this symbol can read as Niho, it can re read as Ni. Like we don't know, right? It doesn't. It doesn't tell us. So after we answered. It presents with, with the word, its meaning for some reason. And again, no hiragana on top uh, of each kanji, which is really, really confusing. Especially if you're starting, because this shit is going to last for long. For the next 131 plus lessons that there are, you'll not have any recollection of what the certain kanji means. And what the certain kanji actually reads as. Uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just horrible. So again, let's go. Now we can write it, right? Even while you're writing it, it doesn't present you with the meaning, it doesn't present you with the reading, but you know how to write it. Then we have the next kanji, and this is where it gets interesting. After you gain a peek of what the previous word means, it's not it's not about the kanji, right? We, we can all agree that it's not about the kanji here. It is about the vocab. This is about how to write a word using kanji. This is just fucking Fuck. No, I'm sorry. I got carried away here. No, after you actually get a gain the pick of it, you will not recollect it again. You will not see that word again in your future studies. I can show you, right? So 
here there's just another word which we, we're just gonna you know do it manually i just want to assure you that this app uses the most effective method of memorization and now here's the thing now here we can see the he which is actually how you're supposed to read this kanji out of context and this means sun sunlight and day all right this is the one thing that makes you actually crazy because they don't have these quick notes uh -huh. right that you're supposed to read to gain some understanding about the kanji so basically what they're doing right now is they're throwing a bunch of information about the kanji but it's not systemized at all like so in this particular case we can see that this kanji is read as he but in the other word it was read as nichi or in the other word was nihon or ni three readings three readings were presented and there's no structure i am confused my mind is full with completely unorganized information that i was being just that i was being just thrown at it is ridiculous and so now we can see that it is either it's ka it is ka you know we don't know it's been four readings four readings and we don't know we still don't know whether how it actually is supposed to be read as Fujisan. right <laughs> so here we're supposed to be done with it right we're just being introduced with 13 new words right so here they are so here we're supposed to review them i guess right or just read them and somehow memorize it it is not srs now at this point it's just cramming it is not based on any method of memorization this is absolutely sucky so as a beginner i would spend a lot of time trying to understand how one kanji can be read in four different ways right so here we have ni right here we have he here we have nichi here we have ka right or ka and they're not even telling you how it is supposed to be read as because sometimes you just have to guess it you've learned consistently for one day one day is pretty cool right so here we see the golden time this is the legend, this is the myth, this is the legacy that this kanji, this, so here we can see the golden time, right? This is the legacy, this is the legend, this is the myth of this whole infamous Mochi Mochi app, right? So what this golden time is actually about is that you will have to review these words in 10 hours. This is the ideal time of you to review these words. So so in 10 hours, right, I could have been sleeping. I could have just visited my grandma. I could have done a lot of things, but I am reviewing. I am reviewing these things because this is the golden time main amount. You have to review them to gain some sort of recollection. It's not even a recollection. You can you can't just call it a recollection. It's just right, you're supposed to recollect in this app is that how you can say a word using kanji but you don't even know how this kanji is read this is actually ridiculous we have two more lessons right and then we have to pay 30 bucks 30 bucks for the shiny app that's great now here is the main dojo kanji and five let's practice writing kanji right so let's practice writing kanji okay <laughs> again so basically here we can select yeah let's just select the nichi or he whatever here where i can actually write here okay so we can rewrite it again if you wanted to okay and well done you've written the kanji correctly now let's say i'll write it like this all right this is the wrong stroke order and perfectly i've got it right let's do it again now let's do a little experiment so what if we write a kanji in a completely different stroke order? So let's start with a four. Let's do it like this. Right? And do like something like this, right? Check. Oops, not correct. Let's give it another try. Okay. Let's do something like like this. Right? This is a different stroke order. 
completely different sort order. You can see that you should be starting from here, from here to here, right? So, but no, I've got it correctly. I've got it perfectly, perfectly. I am the prodigy of the kanji world, right? This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> perfect. How can they say I've written perfectly? If I, I completely missed the whole point in writing, right? And the whole thing, the whole entire actual fun of this let's practice writing kanji, kanji is that it doesn't even say what this kanji means, how it's written, and whatever. You just write it, right? And you're not even just writing it. You're just doing fucking bullshit while not writing the kanji correctly. Now, hear me out. Somebody will say that Minamov, you're wrong. This app is perfect for memorization. This app is actually the best app in the whole language learning community. You are just being a dick. But what if I told you you can make your own SRS algorithm that works best for you in Anki? You can actually do it in a sentence. But listen, it's gonna be a bigger hassle than this, but you're not gonna be spending $30 a year. More than that, it is completely free. I don't know why people at this point are actually using Mocha Mocha app. We have the events. We have the dictionary. And this is funny. Because dictionary is fun. Let's try ski. Here we are the ski. Ski. Okay, this is the moon. And this is it. No, this is the dictionary of the app that you're paying $30 a year. And it doesn't even present the other ways that you can read this kanji as. This is completely ludicrous. So here are the first three dictionaries. By the way, they are completely free to use. So let's check out the first one. It's uh, GPDB, which has pitch accent, using vocabulary, examples, and yeah. So this is a Jisho. This is the one that I use pretty often. It has a stroke coder. It has a Kuniyomi, Oniyomi, whatever, all these specs. Uh, on compounds, plus it has radicals, parts, and so on. This is Takuboto, right? We can actually see the word, right? It's translation. Uh, again, the pitch accent. And then we have a kanji. We have onyomi, konyomi, strokes, whatever, phrases, and so on. You can actually sentence find from these, so this is pretty cool. Here's the funny thing, that you can actually plant stuff here, right? Plant now. So after three consecutive days, of using this app, you'll have this tree. This is great. This is actually insane. So this is actually pretty fun. This is something like Duolingo with the streaks, but let them cook, okay? <laughs> okay, this is a, a completely new way of trying to keep their attention. The other thing is team. We can create a room, right? We can join a room, apparently. This is like Among Us. I'm not really sure about this, but you know, this is pretty cool. Oh, I guess you can actually plant stuff together. So it's like a gardening app, right? I'm not really sure what this game is for, like a gardening app, or maybe just learning Japanese. But at this point, if you're actually serious about learning Japanese in this app, you know, In the start of the video, I said that Mochi Mochi is the biggest scam in Japanese learning game. So why is it a fraud? So you see, after you caught a glimpse on the words that you'll be reviewing in 10 hours, not only did you not understand the meaning of the kanji, you'll most likely never understand its meaning if you're gonna study solely with Mochi Mochi app. So this app is relying on our memory to memorize these words in a certain word. That's what it does. And, and the only progress in kanji that you're making is you know how to some sort of write it. You'll never have an understanding of how to use a certain kanji in just out of context. It's just so simple. So let me just explain. So after the first lesson where you were given 12 new words, right? You've just seen them. You didn't even review them the second time after you've seen them. Let's look at the example. Your mom asks you to remind her to buy a specific item in the shop. She'll never mention it again. So she's relying on you to remind her later to buy that specific item. So what you're doing is that you're trying to retain that information inside of your brain to remind your mom of a specific item to buy in the shop, right? You're reviewing and reviewing that information to remind her. 
right? Now imagine that she asks you to remind her of 12 specific items that you've never heard of before. There's no way you're gonna fucking remember them. So that's the thing with Mochi Mochi. <laughs> This is how it works. Even it is not meant for you to memorize it in 15 minutes like it said. It is not 15 minutes. You're gonna spend so much more. Let's look at that 10 to 15 minutes day, right? So it's promising us to learn 1000 kanji and vocab in one month, right? So, so that means you'll have to remember more than two words in kanji per minute of you doing mochi mochi. How fucked up is that? <laughs> Bro, this is so ridiculous. This is actually ludicrous. This is hilarious how people are falling for that scam. This is a fraud. This is a fraud. So, listen. You will not memorize the words that we're giving you in the lesson. You will never memorize them. Two words a minute. Two words a minute. This is ridiculous, right? You are promised 15 minutes max to gain a thousand words, right? So, that means that if you are going to use this app for 15 minutes a day, that means you will achieve it, right? They're promising it is. You're going to learn a thousand words in a month, right? It is possible, it is possible. Just do it. DO IT! The thing is, after the first lesson where you didn't memorize those 12 words, you'll have to review them in the next 10 hours. In the next 10 hours, you'll, you'll just forget them, right? It's like you've never seen these words before, right? So you're remembering the game, you're trying to remember them again, right? And then you're doing another lesson, and then you're trying to remember these words again. But then you have this big, big snowball that is coming to you at 1,000 miles per hour from an Everest mountain. The words that you're trying to review are not gonna retain your head. And that is the main thing. So lesson one, you didn't memorize. Lesson two, you didn't memorize, right? Lesson three, Maybe you're starting to memorize something, something, because you've seen this word's array, right? So the thing is, on the third lesson, your free trial is done. And then you'll need to spend 30 bucks. After you are being brainwashed by this app, that you're going to learn 1,000 words in a month, that you're buying this yearly subscription. So on your fourth day, you're doomed. You understand? They have countless of reviews, countless of words that you don't even fucking know because 12 words per, per lesson and they don't even fully explain the kanji. Like, what are you paying 30 bucks for? Just go on a free jisho, you know? So let me tell you the formula how you can actually achieve the success when learning kanji. RTK, Anki, and then some random jisho. That's literally everything that you need to do. You can spend like, I don't know, 15 minutes and in those 15 minutes in Joshua to gain in Anki, you'll gain more information in this 15 minutes than you will ever gain in Mochi Mochi. The key in memorization is in the understanding. 1000 words a month sounds so sweet, like everyone wants that. It is so great to just use the Mochi Mochi app 15 minutes a day and then BAM! In a month, you'll be almost conversation fluent. From the start, it is insane, right? Everyone wants that. It is so sweet. But everybody quits because of the reviews you have to do. It is humanly impossible to review the words that you don't even understand. So basically, in a word, there are kanjis. And if you don't understand the kanji, you won't understand the full meaning of the word. But everybody tries to shove that information in their head and it's humanly impossible to do so. That is why they are quitting. But if you don't have time to study kanji properly, you can always use the best app to study kanji. It is called Kanji. Wow, what a, what an original name. But trust me on this one, it is the best app in the field. The only thing is that it doesn't have their solar system. So the best way to use this app is to counter with Anki so that you'll never forget the kanji that you've just learned. In conclusion, if you're a big fan, just go ahead and use Mochi. You know, if you actually want to kill your time in a countless and thousands of hours and struggling <laughs> in kanjis, you know, obviously, just go ahead, right? If you actually want to get good in the sandwich, just don't get used to the shiny apps. Obviously, using the link for starters, that's something what I did, but that's getting you started. But using Mochi Mochi, you know, just because of this, uh, this kawaii voice, I don't really mind. So if you don't want to waste the time, just go ahead and use the app that I just recommended to you. 
it's not the best source to use when it comes to learning the kanji. But if you don't want to use apps and you want a hard try, just smash the like button and I'll actually tell you how to, you know, how to do it quick. And I'll see you in the next one.